Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope you're having a great day today. It is Monday, however. Um, not my favorite day of the week, but it's actually not too bad today. It's bright and sunny out. My family came home this weekend, so I'm no longer by myself. Um, I was getting a little bit lonely. It's not to say I didn't enjoy the, the private time, the quiet time to myself without a bunch of people around, but uh, I did miss them immensely, so I'm glad they're back. That being said, I just wanted to jump into this real quick and uh, show you something real fun to do in the terminal here um, with shell scripting. And, you know, you might not find shell scripting fun, um, but me, I am growing to love it more and more every day. Um, it's just super cool, the stuff you can do and the stuff you can kind of just make on your own with it. And, you know, I am by no means an expert or even an intermediate. I don't wouldn't even go so far as to say I'm a beginner. Um, I would probably put myself in the novice, playing around, just know enough to get myself in trouble category, and that's about it. But that being said, um, I saw a couple scripts for making different kinds of clocks, like binary clocks and fuzzy clocks, and uh, you know, just um, all different kinds of cool things. So I just thought, well, I'm gonna give it give it a shot and see if I can't make a binary clock, and I'm gonna show you what I came up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch a terminal, and we are going to um, do notify send. And then I created this clock called bindclock.sh. So we're going to run that command in not into notify send, and we're going to see what we get there. When we hit enter, if you look right up here, you can see I got this cool little binary clock that shows up in the corner there. And if you can't read binary, um, it's not something that is extremely helpful, and it's not something that's really necessary to know, but I strongly suggest you learn about it because it's actually pretty cool. Um, to be able to see those ones and zeros and what exactly it does and to know what it's saying with a one and a zero, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and clear the screen and zoom in a little bit here. Let me show you the script I got going on. So we're going to cd into my scripts directory, uh, which is in my home jake.local scripts, and then we are going to vim into that bindclock.sh. So basically what I got going on here is I saw a script like this, let's zoom out a little bit because we're kind of close. Um, I saw a script like this that was um, somebody else's on GitHub, and kind of what I do is, like I said, I'm extremely new to shell scripting, so I just kind of go in and I find things that I think look cool, and then I kind of look at them a little bit, and then I go try to write them myself. Uh, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it I can remember things right off the bat, sometimes it takes a few tries. Um, this one I've made a few little changes on, nothing big, um, so this, don't, this is not my script by any means. Um, this is just something I'm using to kind of learn what I'm doing and try to just become better at shell scripting because, man, I am really growing to love it. Uh, so that being said, um, whoever this is, I, I can't remember whose script this was, and I wish I would have wrote the name down. If I do find it, um, I'll go back and look, and if I do find whose script it was, I will put it down in the description because I want you to get credit for what you do. I'm not trying to take credit for the script. Um, I basically took this from somebody else and just kind of messed around with it a little bit. So that being said, all it does is right here, it declares whether you want to use military time or not. So I have military time set to false because I don't want 24 hour time clock. This gives you colors, so you can change the color of the output if you want. So you just change for um, on color and off color. Um, so the, the buttons that are on, buttons that are off, that'll, that'll change the color. Um, these are the symbols. You can use ones and zeros. You can have anything you want here. Um, like, like I saw before here, let's go ahead and run that again real quick. Um, notify, send, bind clock. You can see up here, um, it's just ones and zeros. Um, if I actually go in here and change these to say, um, on symbol will do O and off symbol will do period. And we write that, and then let's go ahead and do a notify send again and do that. Now you can see I've got periods and O's where everything's lit up. So it's just kind of cool. Um, but you got a, you got a variable here for your on symbol and your off symbol, which is basically on symbol is going to be your ones and off symbol is going to be your zeros when it comes to binary. Um, we're looking at binary right here. We're converting zero through nine in digits to binary. Um, zero, 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 zero is zero. 0001 is 1 because the 1 is in the 1 column. We have 0010, well this one here is in the 2 column. And then we have 0011, so we have 0, 1, 2, and then we have 3. Well how does this equal 3? Well because this first column is 1 and this second column is 2, so 2 plus 1 equals 3, so this is a 3. And then we have 0, 0100, 0, 0. so you might think, well why don't we have multiple 1's here? Well because these basically go 1, and then it doubles to 2, and then it doubles again to 4, and then it doubles again to 8. So we have an 8 column, a 4 column, a 2 column, and a 1 column. So right here, since we have a single 1 in the 1 column, that's a 4. Well, now we have a 1 in the 4 column and a 1 in the 1 column, so that makes 5. And then a 1 in the 4 and a 1 in the 2 makes 6. 
I want a four, a one and the two, and a one and the one makes seven, because four plus two plus one. And then we have a single one in the eight column, gives us eight, and then a one in the eight column and a one in the one column gives us nine. So right here we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's basically declaring what our uh, binary digits are gonna look like. So then we have right here, we have a little if statement. This says, if, it's, if we're using military time, so if this is set to true, um, then we're going to use hour equals date, and then we're going to use this format here to give us the 24-hour format. If we have military time set to false, it's going to use it's going to run date and use this format for the hour, which is going to give us the 12-hour format. And then we have minute, which is going to give us the minutes, and we have second, which is going to give us the seconds. So this is just a, a little command here that's going to print out the seconds. Um, and then next we have converting each digit to binary. So for i in hour, minute, second, so for Whatever digit is in hour, minute, and second, it's going to take, and it's going to take the digit or the uh, standard digit, and it's going to convert it into the binary digit. Um, and then once that's done, it's got to create a grid for those. So basically, what it's going to say is for i in zero, one, two, three, we have zero to three, which remember we have four rows up here of eight, four, two, and one. So then we have zero, one, two, three. We have four rows. So again, if we run that clock, you can see we've got four. One, two, three, four. So we have four rows. Then um, for I in zero through three, do, and then for J in zero through five, that gives us six. Well, we have two digits in second, two digits in hour, and two digits in minute. So two times three, that gives us six digits total. So again, if we run that clock, and we see we've got six digits wide this way. So we have the first two are second, the second two are minute, and the third two are hour. So, that being said, this is going to create our grid that gives us four high and six wide. So it gives us the bottom row is going to be our ones, the middle row or the second row is going to be our twos, the third row is going to be our fours, and the fourth row is going to be our eights. The first two columns are going to be our hour, the second two columns are going to be our minute, and the third two columns are going to be our seconds. So that's all that does right there is it creates that grid. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to get the output. And basically what this is doing is output is going to run through said, and it's going to take any zero. So any binary zero, it's going to give us um, the off symbol, which is going to be the little period here. So any zero is going to be the period. And then any one is going to uh, run through said, and it's going to change any one. It's going to substitute for the on symbol, which is the O. And then we're going to echo that output, and it's going to give us our grid. So a real simple script. Um, it's actually pretty cool the way it works. And um, I just thought it was kind of neat. I've always been kind of fascinated with binary and stuff. Like I said, it's not something you really need to know, but it's actually kind of cool when you get it figured out and kind of know what's going on and you can actually read it. Um, it's, it's really cool. So again, that being said, let's go ahead and launch that again one last time here and see we've got our zeros and ones and that tells us exactly what time it is. So um, yeah, so again, we could go up here if we wanted to and change... Um, Let's change our on symbol from a zero to the star symbol and then hit right and then we will try running it again. Oh, oh no, that's a glob. We can't do that. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I learned something. So let's do X. We'll do on as X and we'll write and then we'll run notify send again and now we have X's for the on marks. So there are some things you can't do obviously like the stars is, you know, is, is going to cause problems and stuff like that. But if you can change that. Um, and if you want to actually run different colors, I have the colors turned off. If you want it in the terminal, the colors will work. In Notify Send, it won't use the color codes. But if you want to do colors, then what you would do is you would put the colors before and after the symbols here, um, uh, on color and off color, um, down here by the symbols. And then that way you would have the different color dots if you actually ran it in the terminal. Uh, but since we're running it in... Um, Notify send, it won't read those, and you'll actually get the color code printed out next to the symbol, so it made it look kind of funky. But yeah, that being said, that's just kind of a cool, quick little binary clock that you can uh, punch up in your terminal. And um, yeah, I have it set to notify send on one of my key bindings. Um, well, I haven't set it to a key binding yet, but I'm gonna because. I think it's just kind of cool. So that being said, I hope uh, you found this interesting, and I hope you had a little fun with it. Uh, if not, I apologize. I guess we have a, a different idea of what's fun, and hey, you know what? That's okay. You do you. <laughs> that being said, I'm a bit of a nerd, so I, I found that pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, man, just stay happy all week. I uh, love all of you. God bless.